Hello, we're in Frankfurt on the way to Singapore. Um, not in that, that is an Air Canada 787 on its way to Montreal. Um, we're in the plane behind it, just there. Singapore Airlines A380. Uh, just came in from London, came on the early morning, the early morning Lufthansa, the 923. Brand new plane, actually. Um, brand new, 15 day old. Started service uh, at the end of August. Uh, A321 Neo. Uh, D A I E C. Alpha D for Germany. Uh, Alpha. India Echo Charlie, if you want to look it up, see when it was registered, uh, but it is about 15 days old, very nice, very new, um, not a mark on it, apart from the bloke in front of me who spilt his water everywhere, and well, that'll dry off, I suppose you won't get a mark on it, but very nice. Um, come through Frankfurt quite a lot when going out to races uh, and other places, um, it's just quite efficient, you know, if you need efficiency in your life, Trust the Germans. If you want food, go to Italy or France. If you want to get somewhere on time with reasonable efficiency, and I've always thought um, Lufthansa is a pretty good way to go. Uh, of course, it's not Lufthansa I'm going on. It's uh, Singapore Airlines, but it's, uh, it's sold from Lufthansa. It's code share and uh, go out via Frankfurt, and then you come back via Zurich. Well, I am. Anyway. Um, because the return flight from Singapore is uh, 1.25 in the morning, Monday morning. So you can finish the race, go straight to the airport, get the 1.25 quite easily, and then uh, get back. So um, it's sold as a Lufthansa ticket via Frankfurt, coming back from Rye Zurich, but it's actually a Singapore Airlines uh, A380 with all the um, great service and great planes uh, that, that normally uh, that entails. Um, so yeah. That was the uh, that was the planes bit of it. Um, came here. The only train today was the Heathrow Express. Uh, usual good service on that. The 5:25 in the morning train. Um, I think that's the first one of the day. I don't think they do an earlier one uh, than that. I don't suppose. I mean, there are flights at 6 a.m. There's a Charles de Gaulle flight at 6 a.m. that people need to get. But um, I guess uh, if you're going to try and get there for 5 a.m., you're going to have to get a taxi but uh, that was the only train today will be the only train today when I get to Changi um, it'll be a taxi uh, to the hotel um, I do quite like this new this new livery I don't know what do you think um, of the Air Canada it's done by Wink Creative uh, Tyler Brulé's agency and they did it's kind of stolen off Porter Airlines um, Mr. Porter who was a sort of cartoon raccoon Canadian raccoon uh, was uh, had that kind of black swipe around the uh, swoosh around the, the cockpit. And they kind of took that from Porter and stuck it on Air Canada. I've always thought that was blue, dark blue around the fuselage, the belly and the, and the, the cockpit and the engine as well. It's not actually, it's black. Um, but um, it's going back to the old, um, the old sort of Air Canada titles. And uh, uh, if anyone has got a tug for this uh, 7879, um, can they get it to gate 45 at uh, Frankfurt? Because all these geezers are uh, hanging around outside. Um, looks like they're all, all the air bridges are up. You can see the pilots in there, and um, nowhere, no one is going anywhere because uh, there isn't a tug. So, um, uh, tug please. Got actually, push this thing back and it can go uh, to Montreal. Um, over there, you can see across the ramp, just under the wing of the uh, Oman Air A330, is a um, well, it's a tank, it's a blue tank. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, it's actually cordoned off around the LL 737. Um, as you can appreciate, LL take security very seriously. And uh, I hadn't seen that actually before. They cordon off the whole gate area. It looks like the gate next to it as well. Uh, and put a sort of police tank in there as well. So um, just to make sure um, everything's around. Still waiting for a tug. Sharing a few jokes down here, some German jokes. And um, can't tell whether the pilots are starting to get uh, annoyed or not. Um, hope I'm not disturbing this guy behind me on the phone. Um, which leads us to racing cars. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, get the feeling Hamilton's pretty annoyed at not being on pole for ages and ages. Wants it. Max Verstappen, likewise. Well, he wasn't pole in Hungary, wasn't it? Wasn't he? It didn't work out particularly well for him. But. Um, 
we'll see uh, whether Hamilton gets his revenge, whether Verstappen can do it in the much fancied Red Bull around Singapore, and whether Sebastian Vettel, who, let's face it, is a bit of a Singapore specialist, uh, if he can't get it right here and beat Leclerc, then maybe the writing is slightly on the wall for him. But, um, well, check back to my notebook. Uh, I've got a few views on that and whether Vettel is particularly interested in this championship, given that he's not really in the championship at all, whether his performances have tailed off um, accordingly. Uh, and the other, th other thing is um, masks and uh, smog. Uh, you might have seen this, there are forest fires burning in Indonesia, in Sumatra, and it's being blown with the prevailing winds uh, into Singapore. And uh, the air quality is uh, its not good. It's um, considered uh, dangerous to health, apparently. Um, and if it, 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 uh, it's advising against any strenuous physical activity, like, for example, doing two hours in a racing car. Um, so I feel for the drivers. Don't know whether they can wear masks underneath their balaclavas or get it some sort of filter, some sort of charcoal filter against the mouth and the nose. Uh, for uh, under their crash helmets, that would be quite a good idea. Anyway, we'll see on TV probably a lot of people wearing these masks. They're called N25 masks. They stop any particulate, um, no matter how small, from uh, being breathed in. But if you've got asthma or any kind of you know respiratory issue, um, you're not meant to be out. You're certainly not meant to be doing any kind of physical activity. Um, and yeah, as I say, heartbeats up at 180 BPM for the drivers two hours of intense physical activity. It's gonna make the toughest race of the year even tougher. Anyway, um, that's it. That's planes, trains, and racing cars. Um, might do this after the race itself from Changi on the way back by Zurich to home. Ta-da.